everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this unicorn on an 18 by 24 stretched canvas. I primed once with acrylic gesso and I'm going to be using a two and a half inch flat brush here for working on the background and some black paint. I'm going to get my brush just a little bit wet. This will help spread that paint around a little bit easier. So I'm just going to start along the outside edges of the canvas and then work my way in I've got some titanium white here that I'm going to be using now I'm just going to scoop some out like this and just add it here directly onto the canvas and with my dirty brush I'm just gonna go right ahead and just start mixing and blending that into the black Okay, so I'm going to be using my number nine filbert brush and I'm going to start coming in with the back side of the unicorn building up to the front and the face. So I'm just going to use some black and some white here. You can use any white or black that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of water on my brush first. Just take a little bit of white with my black and come in with a dark gray first because the body of the unicorn off to this side is actually I'm going to make it just a little bit lighter but it's a darker gray than the face so all we're doing is just blocking in shapes right now and sections of light and dark so that's all I want you guys to be thinking about right now it's just going to make it a lot simpler for you and we're going to start halfway point. So right here, there's your first mark. We're just going to go up on a little slant like this, kind of rounded. And then just kind of come in here. Now the face will cut in here. So go in and be a little bit more generous. Bring it up a little bit further just in case we take a little bit more black this way it's still lighter than the background as long as it's lighter than the background and we're going to pull our brush strokes this way Get a little bit of water on your brush and a little bit more white and it's going to start to get lighter around the belly gradually though when it starts to dry out like that a little bit of water will really help to release that paint and make you able to spread that paint around a lot easier. Now I'm going to start turning my brush inwards and curling around inwards like this. So it's going to go from here, kind of diagonal and then start to turn and get rounded and turn in here. And I'm going to add a little bit more white to my gray and I'm going to leave this dark area here and then come in with part of the back leg just 
So we're just gonna make a triangle like this. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Pull. Now a little bit of black. Not washing my brush out. And I'm gonna gently, gently with my brush flat, go around and blend in soft little circles. work the rest of that paint out of my brush. Take a little bit more black on the bottom of my brush like this. And I'm going to tap in here. It's just going to be a little bit darker. I'm just going to go right off the canvas with that. I'm going to take a little bit more white this time. White and water. Mix it in with your gray. See all those lovely shades of gray that we're making? Right in here. I'm going to go like this. Bring it out. This will be the front leg. Then we're going to leave a little black line, the background dark color there. I get really close to it. And just go over this area here where we know we're going to cover this up anyways and go over with the head. I'm going to add some more white where it's going to be nice and bright right here. A little bit more. You can wait for that layer of paint to dry first if you want or just come in with a very light amount of pressure and go ahead and add it. Okay, now I'm going to pick up some water, make some gray again. We'll start coming in with a few scoops like this. little circle here or oval. Pick up more of that light gray. Just want to have a nice double scoop right there. And then start to gently blend those together. Now we're going to come in and add a little bit more. I'm going to get my brush wet again. Make that gray. And lighten this area up. scoop. Just 
scumble, scumble, little circles. Got another one here. And then we're going to start the direction this way where um, the neck is starting. The neck will be here and then the chest. We have some lines and muscles that go around this area here. So I'll just get a little bit of water white. Mix up some more of that light gray color. It's like a dove gray. It's really pretty. So just little loops like this, scoops and loops, and that's all you need to do to build up the basic shapes of the muscles on uh, the unicorn's chest, working our way to the neck. This is just gonna be right below the neck area. We're going to come down lower here. Take some more paint. Make this a bit wider. And start working on the other side now. We're going to have this area right here, this line here, and then a slight little scoop that's going to be darker. So I'll add a little bit more white. And then a little bit of black. Right in there. And on that side. Wherever you have your darkest shadows, you can build those up by adding more highlights and more shadows using your white and black. Or you can choose to do one or the other, either just a little bit of white or a little bit of black. I'm going to get a bit of water on my brush and some white now. I haven't washed my brush out. And I'm just going to start patching in the lighter areas here for this side. It's going to start to curve up here. Again, a little bit of white and water. And we're just going to drag it down here lightly and make it look kind of patchy that will give us some highlights and shadows over those muscles and whatever coloring and pattern that the horse has. Okay, I'm going to come in with some more white now, flat on the bottom of my brush, right underneath those scoops. Just gradually adding those highlights. Okay, 
And then right in here, I'm going to have a triangle from the beginning of the jaw and the head and the neck. It's going to be dark right in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some black there. And just very softly blend it in, wiping the excess black off on my towel. So keeping it nice and dark right there. And then it just eases off and we have some slight lines that come down here. And then down the neck. Okay, I'm gonna make some again here a little bit darker this time a little bit of water on my brush and then make a little go right down here make a little scoop circle so it looks like a seven right here pull out so it goes scoop up here a line right about there and then you're gonna pull it more towards this way so it goes this way and then just slightly in a little bit more then we'll make a little V, go in for some black. Bring it around. And up. Take a little bit more black. Got a little bit of white on there, but that's fine because it's going to show up better. I'm going to be going over with uh, white anyways. So where the eye goes on the other side, it's going to come out a little bit, go in, up like that. Slightly out for the nostril on the other side. Take some more white now. And come in and paint this. Nice and bright white. Just a little dab of water. We're going to ease off as we get down here towards the nose and the mouth area. Scumble, scumble little circles. Come in a little bit in that V area. Come out, outline. I'm going to take a little bit more white. It's going to be right in here. Pull. Pull some lines. Let's 
Gumball again. I have the eye right around here. Right, we want to line it up. So we'll just come around with a white first. And try to keep this diagonal like a line that comes down here. And then we're going to come around. Round, round, round. Nice round brush strokes with white. We're going to bring it down lower, cover up oh, a little bit more of that black line that we initially added. And go over this a little bit with some more white, very, very lightly. We're going to come in around the mouth on the body, scumble in for some more light and take off some of that black. We can go over that black now, come around, soften everything. At the same time, creating a little bit more light, a little bit of water on my brush now, transparent. Just a nice transparent. A little bit more water. Gonna release a little bit more of that paint out of my brush without going back for more paint so that it's nice and transparent. Okay, I'm gonna go into my block. I'm just going to like come up here around the nose and the mouth area. It's a little scoop like this. Scoop around. And then add a little squiggle. So it goes kind of curly like that. And then like a little oval. And then how I would paint rose petals. I'm just going to get a little bit of white on my brush and I'm just going to place my pinky here. Twist, go back, line up a little bit more white on the end of my brush. Twist and come inside where it curls in with the black. Twist. And then just lightly soften this area here. I'm going to add a little bit more white down the nose. All the way down. Not using a lot of pressure at all. Come around for the eye right about there. Cut in with that line again, that, that muscle or bone that comes right there. And then I'll just scumble out, making it a little bit more of a lighter gray there. And then scoop up some more white. And then come around 
right in here, making it brighter. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of black and I'm gonna make a little almond shape. the eye and go above it's going to blend in a little bit to the white go above twist pull in below twist up pull in A little bit more white accidentally put my finger in that. <laughs> so then you just really lightly kind of just tap and drag your brush. It leaves those little canvas, the pits of the canvas, pattern of the canvas showing, and that actually looks um, more realistic to this, the skin and the hair and the pattern of the horse. Just to take a little bit more black and just define this lip and mouth area. A little bit darker right there. There we go. So we'll have a little line right in there. We can start coming in with a neck now. Put a little bit of water on my brush. So we're going to make lots of scoops like this right up to the black line. You can even slightly go over it. And then soften down, well, diagonally. A bit more white, another layer of white, because it's really bright on this part. Hope you guys are doing well and following along and enjoying this tutorial. See, scoop, 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 and then soften. And just work out the rest of that paint on either side. Add some more white, some more highlights here. to get close to the neckline that dark shadow line and then just go inside all these 
little areas, these little ovals and scoops that we made. Get really close to these lines, start right here, scumble, and then just kind of lightly pull up. Okay, I'm going to come around the top now. Bring it up into a point like this. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of black with that white, like dark gray. And come up here. Might be a little bit of hair coming around this side. And we'll add press, wiggle, pull, and let off. A little bit more black right inside here. And then scoop up some white. That'll be the top of the ear. I'm gonna wash all that paint out of my brush. Make that brighter. And we'll just cut right in front here. We're gonna have hair, like I mentioned. Then we'll have another ear right about here. Just using the gray first, then I'll come in with some black, bring that inside. Then I'll outline with some white. A little bit more white. And bring this up. Up and over with the rest of the head, neck, and hair. right over off the canvas. We're going to add more white and have it come in. Bigger scoops. Put a little bit of water on your brush. That'll really help. When I go to reload my brush right now, I'm getting water first and then paint. 
Both really help. I'm going to start to bring this down closer to the rest of the neck. Add some more white in here. go over some of those lines it's still going to dry like it's going to show up when it dries but it's just going to be a little bit uh, softer start to pull in some more scoops Bring them in and then gradually, gradually, very gradually start to go more down like this. And I can go over this, I can go over this line here. That'll soften any of those shadows. Okay, I'm going to take my number two liner brush. I'm going to take some white. And I'll just start adding a little bit of detail here on the eyelid. We'll scoop across like that through the lines and then right under a little dab for a flicker and add a little bit of black oh, a little bit more white just to make a gray color so it's a little bit a little bit lighter there now I'll take some more black and just bring this up a little higher and then down into that point. I'm going to rinse my brush out and make like a really soft gray here. So up a higher, just a little bit higher and add some more shadows. Take a little bit of gray again. Water. I want to add some lines in here. If you want to use a flat brush, that works really well too. Whatever brush you find that works the best for you. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of practice to get the feel of what brush you want. And come around here 
And then tap a little bit lightly with my finger like this. Go around. A little, a little scoop there. And then out again for the nostril. Then some more white. And just a little re-outline there. Then a bit more black. Bring it out like this and then kind of wiggle. Then a little outline. Add a little bit more black here. And then I'm going to use uh, one of my rake brushes rake fan brush and I'll show you how to make some neat looking realistic hair. Just gonna go scoop down slightly and then up. A little bit more water on my brush and gray. Add a few little wiggles in here for uh, a little vein or muscle area. Then I'm going to wash all that off my brush and I'm just going to come around, slightly wiggle, a little bit more water, slightly wiggle and loosen that off. And then I'm going to go over right above with some white. So you just want to follow. This will just make it look raised from everything else. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into my gray. And go around the outside edges. I'm going to switch over to my filbert brush. Really soften that gray. Take a little bit more white on my brush or light gray just to make this stand out again. When you're working on a dark canvas, you're going to have to just be really patient and know that you're going to have to add more and more uh, layers of highlights. A little bit more white in here as well. Come in, make this nice and bright.
tight little wiggles, more white right in here. then scoop and bring white around. So scoop and then soften. now that I mentioned. This is a really fun brush to use for creating hair and, and soft grass and lots of little lines. So you want to make sure that you get it uh, nice and wet. You need, it's like a lot of liner brushes on one brush, so definitely need some water with some gray or white and depends on what color you want your hair to be. I'm just going to start on the edge here and then just pull little hairs and then get a little bit more water on my brush just to loosen that up a little bit. And then we'll come in on this side. Add a little bit there. Okay, I'm going to start coming in with some hair now, more water and white. Pull, twist. It all depends on what kind of hair you want. If I like mine to look kind of free flowing and like the wind's blowing and uh, kind of whimsical. I mean, unicorns are definitely in the whimsical category. So have fun with your hair and, and create lots of movement and waves. And this is a great brush to do that. I'm going to continue along down here and just make it look like there's maybe just some soft waves, maybe clouds. I don't know. I just thought it would look kind of pretty before we add our uh, the horn for our unicorn here. You can just kind of Play around with this brush and twist, pull and twist, have lots of fun. Now you can get these in filberts as well.
just gonna kind of tap in here a little bit more little specks and even a little bit of hairs right there and another thing that I want to do is I'm going to take my angle brush or some people call them dagger brushes they are either or so just if you're wanting to find this online or in an art store it's angle brush or dagger brush now this one is a number 12. I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm going to take some of my black here and I just really want to cut in like that. So just a few areas here where I want it to be a little bit uh, darker, more shadows. And you can scumble around with it too. You can scumble with any brush. Just gonna loosen some of this paint off, keeping it nice and dark where I outlined against around the eye there. There, so it really stands out a lot better. Now I'm going to carefully come in, reload my brush by keeping it nice and flat and loading both sides and then a tight little wiggle. Come around the edge here. I'm going to go quickly back over to my filbert brush take some white and just bring a little bit right in there. Push that out there and wiggle, wiggle. I've got another dagger or angle brush here. This one's a 10 and I'm going to start my uh, horn. I'm going to take black first. And I'll start it from here. Push on an angle. <laughs> the angle brush really helps to do that. Pull it down a little bit here and then make it slightly wider. Okay, then I'm going to go over to a smaller Filbert brush, this one's number four. You can use something uh, even smaller than this. And I'm just gonna wiggle around here. I want this to look like it stands out from, like it's 3D. So I'm just doing this black grayish base first. And then I'm gonna come around with the highlights and then some more hair just to kind of make it all look like it's uh, a little bit more realistic. I'm going to take some white A little bit more white and come in around and just brighten that up. A little bit more in here. And 
inside the top of the ear here, kind of round over. While that's drying there, I'm just going to do a little bit in here where it needs to just have some more white anyways. And then I'm going to come in and out, in, out. Wrap that ear around like that. And then just do a few little curls like that with my brush. Get rid of this little white dab there that I didn't mean to add. There we go. Take a little bit more black and add that there. I'm going to take one of my little liner brushes. This one's a one and I'll just get water with a little bit of that soft gray. I'm just going to add a few little delicate hairs here. Just so easy to do with these little liner brushes. Make a darker gray color. I'm going to go around. And then straight black outline. And just add a few more shadows in here. Just dab around off the edge. Take some black again. Just pull that over. And come inside and if you don't have a rake fan brush, just use a little liner brush like this for the hairs. I like to use a combination. So I get a few different um, types of hairs, looking hairs, and it just ends up looking a little bit more realistic that way. Scoop around here, put some lines in. So I'm going to use uh, back over to a number three liner brush, and I'm going to take that light gray color. I want it to start looking round, but I think I'm going to do that with a little bit more white in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to take some white and I'm going to start here at the very tip and start pulling and twisting like how I make my neat looking twisty trees. 
pull, turn, and scoop under. I'm going to go back over to my rake fan brush and add another layer of hair. So where I need this to really show up, I'm using more white with less water. Then right in here, more white. Well, I'm having so much fun. I hope you guys are too. I think you're really going to enjoy this one. And what a nice gift this will make for somebody. Or just make it for yourselves. I'll just come down here and swoop and a few more hairs. We'll swoop down here and bring some hair right down over the eye. More highlights here. Mm -hmm. 
We'll soften this. See, when you apply, you want it to be the brightest on the outside here. So you apply most of the paint there and then you just let it work out gradually. A little dry scumble right down here. I'm just going to take my little round brush here, soften that, and then a little highlight on the bottom lower lid. I'm going to add some more highlights here coming inside. Just reapplying some final highlights here, guys. Just more white. Just a little bit more black.
Okay, so I've got a few pretty colors that I'm going to be using today to add just a little bit of a filter over part of the unicorn with. I've got some luminous yellow warm, luminous pink, red aqua green turquoise, and I've also got some beautiful light blue violet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of white with the yellow warm. And I'm going to add a little scumble to make it look like it's glowing. And give it more of a magical look. Okay, then I'm going to continue along. And just add a little bit here and there. So it's so subtle and pretty. I feel like less is, less is more with um, this stage and this step, but you're definitely <laughs> welcome to do as much color or as add as much color as you want. just going to take a black and white painting that was already pretty and add some warmth to it and some life. I'm going to come in with a little bit of pink now. So where the brightest highlights are, are where I'm going to add the pink and the yellow. And then when it gets, as it gets a little bit cooler, I'll start adding a little bit of my, my blue here. So I'm going to mix that with the pink and we're going to get a very pretty um, lilac-y color. I don't want to have too, too much in there because this has to stay nice and dark and shadowed. And this isn't uh, transparent because it's got some white in it, right? That's a pretty color. Just add a little bit more blue to that. Let's just bring some of that down there. In those shadow areas. Yeah, a little bit more blue.
So we just want to enhance the black and white image. We don't want to cover up all of that gray because that's really nice and that keeps it uh, neutral. Sometimes less is more. You can easily just come off, come over and take off a little bit of paint wherever you, you want or need to. You can thin it out. I love this color. That pink and blue together is so pretty. Also got some turquoise here that I forgot to squeeze out. We take a little bit of turquoise and blue to start. shadow areas. And I'm gonna have some sparkles here. So I'm gonna take that little bit of turquoise and my blue and I'll just add a few scumbles, little circles here. And then I'll take a little bit of my pink and blue again. few more. Maybe we'll have a few stars down here as well. Add some more color along there. my number three let's see yep number three liner brush and I'm gonna take some white with a little bit of turquoise and I'll just come inside and start adding little dabs 
and then making little stars. And then with a little bit of white right inside. You just want to gently start from the center and flick and then go back for a little bit of white. I'm going to do the same thing with some pink now. Pink and white. Can add a little bit more color here and there as well to some of the hair of your unicorn and wherever you want to have a little bit more color. Then I'll go in and dab the center with some white. You can make them brighter, of course, too. It's a bit more white if you want. But I'm just going to do the same with all the colors. So I'll use some blue next. And by all means, use any other colors that you like. It doesn't have to be these exact ones that I'm using today. There's lots of options out there. I'll just go ahead and just finish this painting up by adding a few more sparkles and stars, making this painting extra magical. Sometimes so I'll just like switch around. So sometimes I'm going to use pink, then I'll use turquoise. I want to make different sizes as well. A little bit of blue. You can even overlap. Making your sparkles and your stars um, a few different colors. Then I've got the yellow warm here that I'm going to go ahead and use as well. So I'm just taking a little bit of that yellow and going over part of that blue one. And then you can just have little, little orbs and dabs like that too that look um, a little bit hazy and fuzzy like. They don't all have to have the little lines coming out to make them look like stars. I'm just going to layer a few because I think it looks kind of pretty. Whoops. 
switching over to my number two round brush. And I'm gonna make some of these a little bit hazy, a little bit more hazy looking. Just tap and dab. Make a little sparkle inside. Okay, well this was really fun to paint. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and you get inspired to paint one too. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below this video. Check out the description below this video as well for a full list of all the colors, brushes, canvas I'm using, plus links for Patreon, Instagram, and our Facebook groups. Thank you so much for all of your support on my channel. If you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, that would be amazing. Thanks so much everybody. Wishing you all the best, happy painting, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!